Wildlife of the East End Lagoon The wildlife of the lagoon is generally obscure and easy to overlook. Although Audubon found white-tailed deer to be common on the island by the late 1800s, deer were wiped out here. Except for the odd coyote or raccoon, the wildlife is generally composed of insects, reptiles, and amphibians. If you look closely, the lagoon teems with butterflies, dragonflies, robberflies, and a breathtaking variety of brilliantly colored insects. Some of these are among the smallest of their kind in the world. Others have adapted to the salinity of the lagoon and its marshes, and are found nowhere else except in these special places. You will find many of these insects and other wildlife along the East End Lagoon Nature Trail. The flowers that bloom along the trail attract clouds of butterflies, as well as the dragonflies that prey on the butterflies. The key to uncovering the wildlife along this trail is to walk quietly and to look very, very closely at what is around you. Some of the smallest butterflies are the toughest. The Eastern Pygmy Blue is one of the smallest butterflies in the world, yet it proliferates here in the salt marsh. This butterfly lays its eggs on Salcornia and Battis, plants that only live in the most saline soils. The Seaside Dragonlet is the only dragonfly in the Western Hemisphere that can breed in seawater. The lagoon is a perfect place for this dragonlet, and it can be seen commonly in the warmer months. If you are lucky, you may spot a few coyotes. Galveston's coyotes are unique. Many of the coyotes on the island share DNA with the endangered red wolf. Typically, a full-grown coyote on the mainland will weigh about 30 pounds. Here on the island, the coyote red wolf hybrids have been weighed up to 50 pounds, significantly heavier. The coyote red wolf hybrids are very skittish, but play a vital role in Galveston's ecology. For more information on this topic or another audio guide, be sure to check out the description below.